21 points the difference as we start the second quarter with North Melbourne very much in command 37 to 16 round and Dempsey once again the two Brandler medalists doing battle or Kelly got one a little bit too high right takes it from the circle up towards the Swans full forward position no mark paid a chance for Torbett Baker's there tries to get the hand pass out Glenn Dinning gives it to right a chance for a Swans goal here the snap is not quite there and Mark right on the line by David Dench there's experience for you Dench to Schimmelbush there's a few games between that pair and getting into the back of Andy Demetrio is Mark Browning it would appear he's been moved there and Demetrio as Bob Skilton mentioned certainly had the better of Hounsel in the first quarter and Hounsel being taken from the ground replaced by Lucas Demetrio left center wing Jackson has the fist he could have marked that perhaps play on says the umpire a real stack up develops and we'll see a ball up to take place at the one minute mark of the second term Bob, I'm just wondering where Scott's playing is he playing in the center I do believe so Lou but uh, covering a lot of territory Cruz wobbles the punt kick up towards center wing Greg palms it down beautifully lovely ball handling gets one at the back for his corner and he'll take the logical free kick still plenty of style and class about Greg knocked on by good to Jonas here's danger for the Swans Phil Cracker can't pick it up it's booted out by whom on the full and it will be a free kick going to Phil Cracker which he will take in the forward pocket may have been windbacks that hoofed it out accidentally that doesn't count Phil Cracker on the boundary line the Swans kick one there from the first turn and that's curling back in that's a real banana ball that's a goal what a shot Phil Cracker, his second, and North Melbourne opened up a very useful lead, 6-7 to 2-4. Allowed for the win beautifully there, Bobby. Uh, he took the words out of my mouth, Lou. Uh, he actually put it across, aimed it at the point post on the other side, kicked it beautifully, and the wind did the rest. And uh, right at this moment, the Swans in desperate trouble. Well, you could say that again. <laughs> There's the set of bounce again. Ga uh, Dempsey got that one, not a good one. Knocked on by McCann over there to Shimmerbush, and they go back into attack again, North Melbourne. Windbanks gets it across to Phil Cracker. He fumbled, finds the ball back there to Roberts. Chance now for Hodman. Slung to the ground. In goes Demetrio. Didn't worry about the ball that time. This allows Evans to pick it up. Out wide to Fury. Fury's hand passes back to Law. Always a safe player. Kicks the ball back towards centre half back. But it's uh, finally fumbled, but picked up by Browning. And now the Swans go up to their centre half forward position. Taken off the pack by Glenn Denning. Getting on top of Brady at the moment as the ball comes out wide to Kelly. He and Ackley have had a great battle. But as Bob said, uh, uh, Kelly just a little bit on top as Hodgman. A very good play goes for a pass. Jonas couldn't mark that one. But there's another uh, Jackson's hurt his shoulder, I would say, as it's picked up here by uh, Phil Cracker again. And there's another goal for Phil Cracker. It can be many. 7.49 North Melbourne and looking good. 2-4-16 uh, the Swans. They go back into attack again. There's a good mark taken here by Fury. Goes for a long kick up there. Looking for good. Fumbles in comes uh, Roberts. Good play on the part of Carter that time. That's a bad hand pass. He's got it around the back there. He's got no hope of getting clear. Umpire said holding the ball against him. Still in possession even though he had it on his back. Well, when you're hot, you're hot. Uh, and that's what North Melbourne at the moment. What's that? He's still got it there, Bob. There's no doubt about it. Yes, he still had it. <laughs> so, well, you got it. So the free kick going out here to uh, Good. No relation to uh, Frank Good, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Running on the shot uh, by Good. 15 metres. And this gives him a chance to have another shot. A goal oh, anyway. it's a goal anyway. So uh, Good kicking a goal. And the uh, North Melbourne team moving on to eight goals. Seven. 55 and the Swans two for six points uh, 16 points and we're at the four and a half minute mark in that four and a half minutes North Melbourne adding three goals taking full advantage of the breeze and uh, I, well, I think I'd be making some very quick changes to try and, and put some light back into the Swans performance 16 to 55 is the scoreboard with North Melbourne running away at with this match at the moment and the Swans come back Glenn Dinning charges through keeps the ball they're doing it with consummate ease at the moment Glenn Dinning's long punt kick to half forward Jim Cracker trying to control it from the back not successful and it will be a ball up at North Melbourne centre half forward position and the Swans have looked almost uninterested in this match 
McCann to Jackson. Dempsey in front of Braddy. And Dempsey on the run. Jimmy Cracker had it and lost it. Winbanks hot on his hammer, but Cracker has the pace. Pass, ill-directed. McCann, he's well shepherded. High towards full forward, and Jonas just can't take the mark, and it's through for one behind. So the Kangaroos' total makes them 56 points, leading the Swans now by an even 40. That's eight goals, eight to two goals, four. The Swans still to add to their quarter-time total. And as Bob pointed out, North Melbourne kicked three goals in four and a half minutes. Certainly making the most of the breeze. Roberts. Nudge out. Dempsey and round. No free kick there. Dempsey seemed to be tackled high as well. Round to right. Shrugs the tackle from Schimmelbush. Ackley, probably their best player at the moment. Got a bit of class about him, that fella. That could have been a nudge out to Morwood. He's been very quiet, almost kept kickless. I think he may have had one in the first quarter. But Laura's been well on top in that particular duel. Tony Morwood from left centre wing. Baker, that's his first mark in senior ranks for the Swans. And Gary Baker has a chance, if he can kick straight, to bring up a goal and certainly a badly needed one for his new team. Certainly does look a little bit different than in some of his days at Melbourne when the hair was long and the beard was of considerable length as well. One of best and fairest for Melbourne. Slightly off target. Phil Cracker and Vernon with Danaher. Phil Cracker on the boundary line and in fact has gone over and we'll see a boundary throw it in front of the Bradman stand in the forward pocket for the Swans about 25 metres from their goal. Torbett, no oh, it's too long, charging through. That could almost be a push in the back down there to Lucas. It's going to be a free kick or a ball up. No, Lucas has got it and he's only about 15 metres out from goal. Lucas came on at quarter time to replace Hounsell. And the badly needed goal here, certainly, if he can convert. Directly in front, shouldn't have any troubles doing just that. He's uh, put it through for his first, and the Swans flip. Just over eight minutes gone, 8.56 eight North Melbourne to the Swans, really struggling, 3.4.22. They're back into attack, North Melbourne's are going out for good. He's only got a walk into this one, he puts it through, and it's another goal to North Melbourne. Doing it very easily, nine goals, 8.62 to the Swans, 3.4.22. Bob, I would say the difference is North Melbourne have got about 16 guys firing and you're lucky to find five of uh, the Swans going flat oh, out. Watch again on replay and a great piece of play by Peter Jonas here. He misses the mark, thumps it over the top and to allow Good to run in for an easy goal. But it was great play by Peter Jonas. Back to the centre again. We're approaching the 10 minute mark and it'll be Barry Round against Dempsey and Dempsey doing the best at the moment. This time Round's got a chance to it. It was a bad hit. Now he juggles it, fumbles. And this allows uh, Schimmelbush to drive it over centre half forward. There we see a fumble taken by uh, Browning, picked up by Hotman, a very good play. They've had many too as he goes for a pass, looking there for Cracker. It's too long, well intercepted that time by Carter. A long hand pass to uh, Lucas out there at half back. And now the Swans have a chance, but that's a bad kick. Dempsey in front and he's got the mark. Doing a great job today for North Melbourne. A hand pass coming over to Greg, out there on that centre wing position. A kick over the half forward line. And uh, there's a mark. And a biff. And a <laughs> bit of a push. <laughs> and uh, the ball going back there to Morwood. Morwood's kick is a short one. And Danaher's got the mark. Look a little bit lifeless at the moment. The Swans are not uh, really putting much effort in. There's a nice mark taken by Ackley. And he and Kelly have had a great duel here today. Could have been a 15-metre penalty, but the umpire thought otherwise. So uh, Ackley right on the point of the square and ready to send them deep into attack. Up to their full forward position. Baker in the front posse. Punched away by Dempsey. There's Glenn Denning going up. But Vernon Beachy for the race for the ball. But he goes down. This allows Kelly to pick it up. Sidestep. But it's a hand pass back again to Law. Couldn't shrug his opponent off that time, Ackley. And the umpire said it'll be a throw in from that uh, half forward line for the Swans. Lou, I think the poor performance by North last Monday against Fitzroy has seen them really G'd up for this game. And as we say, you catch them on the rebound and they've certainly bounced back. Well, they were very keen before the match, Bob. And uh, there's Cruz fumbling the ball. In front of him is uh, Jimmy Cracker, a hand pass back to Schimmelbush. And North Melbourne go back into attack again. Up there towards Jonas and Winbanks. And the ball is finally knocked out by Winbanks, playing it. Oh, it could be a free kick to Winbanks, grabbed by the arm, as the umpire indicated. 
and uh, he'll take that free kick down towards the back pocket position. So the score at the moment is nine goals, 8.62 North Melbourne, of the Swans, 3-4-22. There's a shocking kick, but that was just as bad for Gary Dempson. Dropped the mark. He doesn't look as though he's too good as we see the ball driven back for the Swans by Morwood. Torbett tries to take the mark one hand. The umpire has found a free kick. Dempsey still looking anything but brilliant. Underneath it, Nimmo. Twisted well clear. Another chance for Lucas. He's well shepherded. He kicked a goal earlier. Nimmo this time making no mistake and got one on the, uh, on the, uh, the eye as well. Evans clipped him as he went past. Ramsey. Short pass to Dimitriou. To Law. More with late on the scene. Law put his head down and is free kick for holding the ball. So Tony Morwood, kick number four from right centre wing. Danaher, late on the scene, stole it, play on. He was last grab. Glendinning in front, Braddy pushed him in the back, no free kick from the umpire, and that rolls through for one behind to the Swans. They certainly needed goals. 23 to 62, seventh big league at the 12 minute mark of the second term. Phil Cracker. Does it well, gets it back to Law. On towards centre field, North Melbourne go forward again. Glenn Dinning takes the handball well. Centre field, he's scragged by Browning. Roberts. He's improved since last year, Ian Roberts. Braddy, adjacent to the circle, marks over Jimmy Cracker to Tony Morwood. Not a great handball to Scott. And a good tackle by Greg. Back to Jimmy Cracker. Over to Phil. Shrugs the tackle. Back to Greg. Over towards Abernethy. Abernethy to half forward for the Kangaroos. Windbanks missed it. A golden opportunity for Jonas. Stab it goal and he's put it through. Just over 13 minutes gone. 10 goals, 8.68 North Melbourne. The Swans, 3 goals, 5.23. And not looking too good at the moment. No, there was the ball situation. Probably one raffle at one of the clubs tonight. But... Uh, Waiting for a new one to come out. The crowd has built up a little bit, Bob. I'd suppose it's around about eight or 9,000. It could even be more than that because uh, they're all stacked on this side of the ground. Yes, they are, with the Bob stand not being in use. That's the Brewongal stand. Waiting now for the centre bounce. It'll be Torbett against uh, Dempsey, and Dempsey's done a great job on the ruck today. They look a very lifeless side today, the Swans. Not putting uh, the heart they put into their other couple of games. There's Vernon picking the ball up. It's a shocking kick. Punched away again. Back there towards Torbett. Juggles the ball out. Finally cleared away by Lucas over the Swans half forward line. Coming out the meter now is Rams. He can't get clear. Evans is there, but Dents gives him a hand. Here's the fella shaping up as the best player on the ground. Glenn Dinning gets the ball back there towards that half forward flank position. Comes back to Jackson. McCann's into his back. And the umpire said it's on the shoulder, so it'll be a free kick to Jackson. And he's still holding that shoulder yeah. a bit too, Bob, I noticed. This is in a bit of pain, I'd say, Lou. Well, they've had a bit of bad luck with shoulders, uh, the Swans. That's the third one, Scott and Smith. Smith. And now uh, we see Jackson in trouble. Once again, it's Gary Dempsey playing a fine game, Bob. Yes, but then uh, it was a foolish kick to put it straight across to Dempsey. Dempsey now gets a 15-metre penalty. You don't pick Dempsey out, do you, when you're kicking down? <laughs> Hardly. You go the other way, on the other side, if you possibly can. A short pass over to uh, Greg. Now, Greg's got the ball about 10 metres short of the centre. That's how confident Gary is. He's going for short passes. <laughs> yeah, there's a kick by uh, Keith Greg. A long one at the back is good, but uh, picked up by Carter. He's dragged to the ground and good falling on top of the ball. And the umpire's going to ball it up. <laughs> oh, it was thrown out the pack then that time. It was uh, Robert, was it? Got the free kick. Got the free kick for one of the North Melbourne players being a bit foolish then. So there was a chance for North to score, but uh, Roberts decides to quickly play on, get the ball out to the... Members side, flying high was Morwood, couldn't hold the mark. There's McCann breaking away from Jackson once again. A long shot for goal, but uh, McCann is off target and through for another point. So we see the score, 10 goals, 9.69 to the North Melbourne, to the Swans, 3-5-23. And uh, now the ball back into play. Morwood flying high, knocked out by Dempsey to McCann. Back it goes to Ebenethy. The kick is towards the forward pocket. It'll just get inside the line, and the umpire will throw the ball in from that forward pocket position uh, for uh, North Melbourne, about five or six metres around from their goal. 69 to 23 is the score. Seven's big league from the SCG, and so far it's North Melbourne completely in command of the situation. As it comes out of the pack, I think that was from Cruz. Back it comes to Phil Cracker, a race for, or for the ball with Vernon. 
Beats four opponents. Cracker. Out it comes to Braddy. High towards centre circle. Law contesting with Scott. Danaher. He's trying hard. Browning. Good tackle by Shimmer. Back it comes to Law, who fumbles. He's been doing little of that so far today. And Scott comes out of it with the free kick at centre field. Scott now on a half forward flank, Pete. Baker, almost mark number two. Couldn't complete it. Very nearly would have been paid by the umpire, I think. The ball up at the Swans full forward position. 17 minutes have gone in the second term. Knocked away by Dempsey again. And that's a free kick going to Gary Baker, it would appear, for on the shoulder, says umpire Peter Cameron. Gary Dempsey disputing it hotly. <laughs> I don't think Gary's got any clue about what it was for. Well, I must admit I don't either, but he did indicate on the shoulder and Baker came out with the free kick. He's made no mistake with the conversion. Gary Baker bringing up his first goal. At the 18-minute mark of the second quarter, 10-9 to 4-5. With the Kangaroos still very much in command after that goal by Gary Baker. Ackley, he's the Swans' best player in my book. Up towards full forward pocket. Barry Round, caught. Ramsey, shepherded by David Dench. Ball into no man's territory over there. First to get there will be Dimitriou. Lucas is picking him up this quarter. After Dimitriou completely outpointed Hounsell in the first term, 40 points the difference. And uh, we're uh, approaching the 20 minute mark of this uh, quarter. And we see uh, North Melbourne 10 9 69 to uh, the Swans 5 uh, 4 5 29. Braddy gets that one down. Lucas trying to go through. He was grabbed, finally picked up by right back there towards the forward pocket position. Dents coming out. That's Dents really uh, at his best, but he fumbled there, but he's got time to recover. There's not a Swan player within Gooey. Back it goes there towards uh, Jimmy Cracker. Coming in to meet it now is Browning down there on the back pocket. Goes for a pass. Not a bad sort of a pass to Morwood either at centre field. The kick is back out wide to Barry Round, and he's got the mark about uh, 45 minutes. He's gone for a quick hand pass, and what a bad one it was. Picked up by Nimmo. By golly, Barry Round's making mistakes these days as the ball finally comes back to Hotman, back to Abernethy again. And this is good football on the part of North Melbourne as they drive it up there towards the full forward position. Punched away by Carter and through for one point. So North Melbourne go on to uh, 10 goals, 10-70. To the Swans 4-5-29. A bad mistake by Barry Round then. A kick up to Baker would have been better. Barry Round coming in to uh, make amends, but uh, beaten for the ball by Abernethy. Back it goes to Phil Cracker in a bit of trouble as the ball comes back now to Winbanks. Winbanks' kick is not a good one. It'll be nearly out of bounds on the full. Yes, it is. And a penalty free kick going there to North Melbourne. They're not playing with any purpose at all at the moment, but they don't seem as if they care. I th think it's more a case of North's good play, uh, Lou. They're leading to the ball on every occasion. The move was right by Barry Round, but it was a poorly executed hand handball, which just didn't get to uh, young Lucas. Torbert off and Carroll on for the Swans. Ball in, out of bounds in that forward pocket position, about uh, ten, ten, 10 minutes around uh, from that uh, goal for North Melbourne. Approaching the 21 minute mark, Hodgman gets it out now to Jimmy Cracker, a snap for goal. Up there towards Fury, Winbanks comes in. Fury gets over the top of him and it's forced through for another point. So just over the 21 minute, on the 21 minute mark, it's 10 11 71 uh, North Melbourne to the Swans 4 5 29. And of course, the Swans will have to do a lot better if they're going to win this match against North Melbourne, playing chock full of confidence. The ball there to Barry Round, knocked out by Dempsey. Good hand pass over to Hodgman from Schimmelbush. Back it goes to Kelly. The ball up there towards full forward again. Oh, an easy mark dropped by Browning. There's no touched off the boot, though, Lou. I think that's um, Browning. But he was... should have grabbed it, Bob, just the same. He should have, but I think he was go... he was off and running beforehand because he knew that it was called play on. Ball up about 30 metres out. Knocked out by McCann. Coming in to meet it now as Winbacks. There's a nice bit of fancy stepping as he gets away this time from Jonas. He better kick it. He finally does out wide. Danaher in front, punched away by Greg. He's first to recover. Oh, I tried to balk there, but lost it, and the ball is out of bounds on the half-forward line. He's given it against Greg, Lou. But yes, for, he has. But for dropping the ball, Bob, yes. is it? Lucas. From right half-back flank in front of the hill. Little nudge out by Abernethy, and the umpire has seen it. And the free kick will be going to Tony Morwood. Morwood, a little short of right centre wing. Evans can't take the mark, but it's taken by Baker. That's his second. So he's shaping up as... Uh, 
quite a useful recruit for the Swans. I'd be kicking it up there all the time to him, Bob. I wouldn't hesitate. Evans, not Evans, but Carroll missed it. Law. There's always somebody backing up, Pete. There is, isn't there? They've done that all uh, through the game so far. They certainly look the far superior combination. Fury. That's what we're talking about. McCann. Back to Abernethy. To Dimitriou. To Phil Cracker. The Kangaroos steam forward again. Not a long kick. And he's trying to find his brother down there. Jimmy. Almost had it. Crashing his way through is Fury. He could go from there. 15 metres out. And puts it through for another one to the Kangaroos. Fury bringing up his first goal for North Melbourne. 23 minutes have gone in the second quarter, 77 to 29. It's a real bath at the moment, and the Swans can't get themselves out of this lethargy they find them in, but that's taking a lot away from North Melbourne as they go uh, forward again through Abernethy up towards Fury, who nudges out Browning, and he'll take the resultant free kick. Mark Browning, half back. Long left footer, trying to find Danaher who had the grab and then lost it. It's taken by Scott. Braddy and Glenn Dinning. Braddy's first to recover. Spins out well. On to Tony Morwood. Kick number seven. A long shot at goal. Baker in front. Can't take the mark. And Nimmo content to rush it through for one behind. And that takes the score on seven's big league to 4-6, 11-11. And that's a difference of 47 points. North Melbourne with winners on every line and making it very difficult for uh, the Swans to score a goal. The ball out there towards Demetrio and Danaher. The, over the top of the heads going after it now as Greg Wright's right on his tail, but Greg gets away easily as Wright falls over. Another hand pass coming over to Fury. It'll go back there to Cracker out there at half forward. A long hand pass to McCann. McCann back here to Demetrio. This could look dangerous for a goal, I would say. He fires, but he's off target. And it's through for another point to North Melbourne. As soon as North Melbourne get the ball, Bobby, they look good, don't they? Well, they're running down the ground in threes and fours, which is a sure sign that you're well on top and you've got players uh, with enough confidence to go down. But uh, even, you know, when the Swans do uh, win a, a rare ball, there doesn't seem any, um, well, teamwork and whatever in their play. There we see Kelly... Uh taking a mark from another swan mistake as we see good going for the mark carter got one around the neck but the umpire still calling play on good comes out of the pack in goes roberts threads his way through beautifully that time as he shoots the ball back towards the center of the ground danaher and greg danaher goes for the tap on beautifully picked up by wayne carroll out there on the edge of the square goes for a short pass and a chance now for Vernon to get away from ramsey another pass out there to braddy but uh, they've got the mark i thought uh, glenn denny could have grabbed that but was well set up for Braddy, and he'd be about 40 metres out from goal on a very slight angle, and believe you me, the Swans badly need a goal. 25 and a half minutes gone of this second quarter. Waiting on Braddy to kick a goal here for the Swans, if he can. Oh, look at that for a kick. That makes Barry Rand look like a champion, that one. <laughs> Or your mate uh, from Collingwood. Oh, Bill, that knocked Billy Pickett. He played <laughs> a good game I... yesterday, but by golly, he wants a few kicking lessons. He couldn't fault Billy's marking and ground play, but there's the ball back into play by Dent. Glenn Denning at the back couldn't hold that one. Barry Round couldn't get out of the pack, but the umpire felt a bit sorry from that time and said, holding the man. A hand pass coming back to Scott. Scott with a left foot kick up there towards the full forward position. This could be Phil Baker. And this is what I said to you before, Bob. Gary Baker. Gary, Gary Baker. Phil Baker used to play for North, but Gary Baker, they've got to kick it up to this guy because he can mark. I wouldn't worry about the short passing at all. Get it up to the big guy. And get it up there quickly. That's yep. right. Because that's one thing that uh, Gary Baker can do is mark. He's already kicked one goal. He's going for goal number two. He's hit the post. Same post that Wayne Schimmelbush hit earlier in the first quarter. So it's four goals, 7.31. Uh, the Swans to North Melbourne, 11-12, 78. Well, bad luck for Baker. Good luck for North Melbourne. Ball booted back into play. And it's racing Schimmelbush to the boundary line, but he picks it up just inside and kicks it out on the full. <laughs> and so that's a kick to the Swans. And gets rid of the interchange, uh, <laughs> the man. <laughs> Fixed that steward up good and proper, didn't he? Two Swans collide. Lack of talking there. Braddy and... Uh, Evans, now a chance for Bernie Evans. Boot the ball very quickly. Darrell Vernon chips it in front of the, uh, Ramsey and takes the mark. Barely 10 metres, certainly, but the umpire has paid it. Certainly been a trier anyway, Vernon, in the three Swans games I've seen this uh, year.
That's another mark. There's that Freddy. Right on the boundary line. And he brought right around. You won't see too much daylight at all between the posts there. And six marks to Craig Braddy. So that's certainly a pretty good effort. As you can see, right on the boundary line. Runs around, one point. So five goals, or four goals, eight now. That's 32 points to 11, 12, 78. Still North Melbourne very much in command. That's the second quarter in progress, some 23 minutes. Nimmo. Number 28. Dimitriou. McCann. Leading Jackson. Beautiful turn for the big fellow. He went out of bounds, but the ball stayed in play. Long kick to full forward, looking for good. In oh. fact, it could almost be a goal. What a shot. Full points. Great goal from McCann. He really kept that off nicely. 12 12 84 to 4 8 32. That's just about goal of the day here. That's the second one he's kicked like that today, uh, Bobby. Yes, and I think as we said at quarter time, Lou, um, I'm still very surprised that Francis Jackson is uh, still on McCann. 29 minutes gone, 12 12 84 North Melbourne to the Swans 4 8 32. And this first half has certainly been all North Melbourne playing the best football they've played for the entire year. I know there's only three games played, but still it's showing good form back to Gary Dempsey. Abernathy's there, picked up by Ryder. Hand pass coming out there to Ackley. Fumbled a bit, but he's got time to recover. Should get it up there to Baker. Has a chance now for Baker in front. Got his hands, but good play by Dents. Greg overruns the ball, picked off. Kelly got one on the head, but the umpire said play on. You shouldn't duck your head. Uh, Glenn Denning gets a hand pass out. Knocked on by Nimmo. Finally picked up by Ramsey down there in the back pocket. In a bit of trouble here. Hand pass back to Law. Another one back here to Nimmo. Nimmo's going for a kick along the uh, wing here. A chance now for McCann doing a great job at centre half forward. Far too good for Jackson. And finally a long hand pass coming out from Nimmo. Over there to uh, Cracker. It's uh, Jimmy Cracker going after it. Oh, Lux of Fortune. that bounced beautifully for him over to Jonas. Another short pass. But it's a bad one and a good mark taken here by Roberts. Drives the ball back there towards uh, Bernie Evans. Now he's got to get this up to Baker if he can. He's gone for a pass to Danaher. Danaher's lost it. I wouldn't have worried about those passes. Finally, it comes out in out of Keith Gregg, but the umpire says play on. I thought he was going to blow the whistle. Schimmelbush at centre-half back. Steadies. Balks. Now he's in trouble, nearly holding the ball. Umpire said to play on as we see Vernon get it now. Coming back here to little Scott. Scott's in the front posse. Nimmo after him. Can he pick it up there in the forward pocket? He's got it on the boundary line. Hooks it up back there looking for Baker. Baker got one hand when he goes down. This gives a Dench an open go to get clear. A bit of bad luck for the big fella then as Dench takes the ball back. Out there to work. Oh, there's got to be a free kick and the siren sounds. And we see, uh, is it... Uh, Lucas, Lucas Lucas went down pretty heavily on the siren for half time but half time the scores North Melbourne 12 12 84 to the Swans 4 8 32 I hope that boy's all right yes he's certainly uh, well it was more a case of hitting the ground I feel as we watch again